Now we're gonna dive back into the world of photo editing today. We're gonna look at color correcting, how you can solve certain problems when it comes to editing your photos, how you can kind of fix certain looks. We didn't do this in Lightroom Classic, but this is absolutely applicable wherever you edit your photos, whether it's Photoshop, Capture One, wherever it might be. I love those programs too. We've all got different preferences. Let's get into it. It's Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, where we each on every Tuesday, we bring you a brand new, fresh, ooh, delicious, a delicious, fresh photography tutorial. This week, like I say, we're diving back into photo editing, and we're going to look at how you can fix certain issues that come up with colour, particularly. This can happen a lot, I think, this time of year, with lots of brightness, lots of colour, lots of greenery. Let's dive in. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's take a look. So we've got this photo here, which I took just the other day in a nice wooded area. We've got bluebells of spring. I always like to go and take some kind of photos of bluebells around this time of year because they're just so beautiful, right? It's just such a nice time. You know, it's a nice day, lots of sun. But as you can see, we've got a weird kind of situation here. So we've got the bluebells are a little bit darker. The sun was high in the sky, which creates this kind of contrasty, difficult situation with light. We've got a very bright background, but also a very saturated green forest floor. And there's a few things we might need to look at and a few things we might need to do to fix this situation because at the moment the bluebells are not they don't feel like the most kind of prominent thing in the frame and that background is a little bit distracting so let's go through the different steps we can look at to fix a situation like this this comes up for me quite a lot recently so let's have a look let's dive into it so first up we probably want to be looking at the exposure a little bit first the global editing in terms of the exposure so that actually goes hand in hand with color correction exposure and color they sit right by each other, right? They're, they're two sides of the same coin in a lot of ways. And actually you can solve some problems with exposure and then you'll notice new problems because of that with color. Color will help exposure and so on and so on. So let's take a look at this. Let's go ahead and do highlights first. We're gonna bring those down and then shadows up. Now we don't wanna go too crazy. It's quite a contrasty image, but that's gonna help a little bit with this background and a little bit to just bring out some of the detail on our bluebell here. Now we're gonna come down and bring clarity up a little bit as well. And I'm gonna bring Vibrance up a bit. Now you might remember from our tutorial, Vibrance versus Saturation. Vibrance should affect the less saturated colors first. So it shouldn't affect this sort of green, yellow, which is very much one of the more saturated colors in the image. Now we're almost definitely gonna to have to use masking to actually bring out the bluebell a little bit more. But first, I want to correct some of this color so we can really see what we're working with. The first step I would always take when it comes to color correcting in an image like this is to look at how are we gonna make this more natural? How are we gonna make this look more true to life? And the first step really is always gonna be white balance. Now I shot this on auto white balance. My camera's done the best job that it can, but let's go ahead over here to the white balance panel. Let's actually see what Lightroom would do. So the first thing I'll always do is come down and click auto on this little drop down menu and Lightroom's going to adjust it itself. I think it's done a fantastic job here. It has made a pretty big difference immediately to the photo. Let's look at the before and after so we can do that by pressing the backslash key on our keyboard. So backslash, this is before, this is where we started and after. So just some very minor exposure adjustments and then a white balance adjustment has already made this look much more natural. We've really dealt with a lot of the issues in the background, but we can still go a little bit further, I think, for the overall look of the image. Now we'll be verging through color correcting into color grading, where we're giving a little bit of a style to the image. But for this image, we're gonna try and keep it as natural and true to life as we can while still ending up with the end result that we really actually want to go for. Okay, so where would we go to next? Well, let's come down to the color mixer. There's a couple of different ways we can use this. I'm gonna use this on the mixer setting where we can adjust the HSL. That stands for hue, saturation, and luminance. And this allows us to adjust those different properties of each different color individually. Now we'll start here with saturation. I don't know that I need to adjust the hue of any of these colors, but the saturation, absolutely. Let's bring the green down a little bit, something like this. And what you'll also probably find is that there's yellow in this background as well. I and mean, you can see some of it, but within the green as well. If I was to bring the yellow all the way down, you can see it mutes the green down massively as well. Double click to reset. Let's bring that down to something like that. We don't wanna go too crazy with this because I don't want it to look you know, unnatural. I just want to mute them down a little bit. And I think that's absolutely done that. We can also come over to luminance where I'm gonna bring the green down just to touch the yellow down. I'm going to bring the blue up. That's going to brighten those particular colors. Let's bring the purple up as well. And you can see that's bringing out a little bit more detail 
on the bluebells just here. Would you love to see? You love to see that. Mmm. Yes, indeed. Now, that works really well. And actually, you can see how much of a difference just that color mixer has made by coming up to this eye icon, clicking and holding. That's what it looked like before we did anything on this panel. And then releasing. That's quite a big difference. Right? That is making quite a big difference, both to the bluebell, you know, subtly to the bluebell and to the background. But I really like that. I think that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's really helping with our image. I think color-wise, we've now made a massive difference to this image. We probably now want to go into the masking. Now, again, like I say, exposure, color, they sit kind of side by side. We're going to go over to subject here and Lightroom's going to pick out the subject. Great. So it's masked out the two different bluebells there and these bluebells just in the background. And all I'm going to do is bring the exposure up a little bit. I'm going to bring the shadows up a little bit as well. We probably don't want to go too crazy. We don't want it to, don't want it to look unnatural. I'm going to bring the clarity up a little bit as well. And look at that. That is now standing out much better. Let's create one more mask. Let's go for a radial gradient kind of across the image, something like this. I'm going to brighten that a little bit. There we go. So we don't mind that's brightening the background as well. What we're going to do is another mask. This will actually be the last mask. <laughs> And we're going to do that right across the image like this, invert it. So now it's affecting the outside and we're going to bring that down. So we're creating a little bit of a vignette around our bluebell there. Now that is looking much better in terms of the bluebell being much more prominent, being the focal subject of the image. We've got the background under control. We've affected the color, the exposure. Let's look at the before and after. So before, that's where we started. Now you can see that's a bit of a problematic situation color and exposure wise. Press it again. That's where we are now. We've fixed that. And I think we've still kept a very natural look to things. We've done some color correcting with white balance with the color mixer. There were other things we could have done. We could have come down here to color grading where we can add colors into things like the shadows, the midtones, the highlights. I think for this image, we don't need to do that. I think we can keep it nice and natural, nice and kind of true to life. But we've still done a lot to fix those issues. And absolutely, we could then go ahead and stylize the photo. But like I say, I don't think we need to on this photo. We will do a whole video about color grading, which is kind of the next step. So getting to this point where everything's correct, then applying a certain look and a style to your image. We'll do a whole tutorial on that. We'll look at the tone curve as well. Now, we've had some great suggestions from you guys for future tutorial Tuesdays. Lots of Lightroom editing ones, some other stuff, self-portrait. You guys seem to want to see that, which is... It's all very exciting. I love to see it. I love to see your suggestions because I love making the stuff that I know you actually want to see. So that, ooh, yes. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's new content all the time. New tutorials every week. We've got reviews. We've got all kinds of stuff. There's loads of stuff going on. I will see you in the next video. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.